I just want justice for my dead wife. That's what I want. Because you're never going to give me justice. Never. You can't give me back 34 years. You can't give Michelle back her life. But the least you can do when you say that you care about her is do the right thing by her. Just do what's right. Do what's right. Because this is not it. This is definitely not it. Leo Schofield has been in prison for over three decades. He was convicted of murdering his wife, Michelle. And then, 17 years into his sentence, newly discovered evidence pointed to a new suspect, a man named Jeremy Scott. Dear Mr. King, I received your letter along with 10 stamps. I'm Gilbert King, a Pulitzer Prize-winning author. And after spending three years investigating this case with researcher Kelsey Decker, we wrote a letter to Jeremy, the man who was forensically linked to Michelle's murder. Turns out, he had a lot to say. It was raining most of the night. I was sick and cold, wet. The one time she calls, the last thing we say is, I love you. There was a woman on the phone, talking. When she got off, she asked me if I was lost. I told her yes, she was nice, and offered me a ride. And I knew then my wife's in trouble, and I don't have any way to help her. Not a damn thing. I told you, I killed her. Jeremy Scott insists that he alone killed Michelle. Don't, don't judge me Do you hear the whole story. Leo Schofield insists he was wrongfully convicted. I am innocent, and you are obligated to protect me and bring justice to my dead wife. The state of Florida doesn't believe either man. Mr. Scott isn't trustworthy, and I'll tell you why. Leo Schofield is a cold-blooded murderer, and if I have my way, he'll never get out of prison. Make it right. Let me go. Let me go. From Lava for Good Podcasts, this is Bone Valley. Available starting September 21st on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen. Or subscribe to Lava for Good Plus on Apple Podcasts and hear each episode commercial-free one week before they air. I'm reaching out in desperation to the one Who's holding the stars?